Hi, and welcome to Faux Food Creations. Today I'm going to show you how to make bread out of spray foam. First things first, it's very important to wear gloves. This is so sticky, so be very careful with it. And also make sure to shake it really well before you start. Next, start gently spraying the foam into the bottom of a bread tin. And I like to do this kind of vertical up and down motion as I spray. You could also go side to side if you prefer, but I just like the look of this a little bit better. It gives me a little bit more control. And just keep doing that until you've reached about the top of the tin. Then set those aside to dry, and once they're dry, they should look like this. You'll probably have to cut it out of the tin, so make sure that you use something that you're not too attached to. And then the bottom will probably be rounded, so I recommend taking a serrated knife and just cutting that off so it's a smooth bottom. And then you can trim off any little nibs that formed in the foam as it was drying. Um, and then you'll take some sandpaper and you'll want to sand the top. First of all, this will make it a bit smoother and it'll also help the paint stick because it is a very slick surface when it first dries. So sanding it down makes it a little bit easier to paint. I like to make a wash out of these colors and some water and then I just paint that over the top. And this just gives it less of a paint texture and kind of adapts the texture of the foam a little bit more. And then once you have your first wash, you can mix up some just regular acrylic paint. And then I like to go around the edges and just kind of make it look a little bit more toasty with a darker color. And then I even like to go across the top and do some kind of lines to make it look like it came out of the oven, basically. And now for the sides, these would have been inside the tin, so they won't have gotten as brown. So I like to mix up a little bit of a lighter color for this part. Then a lot of breads just have a line around the perimeter, so I'm just adding that to give it a little bit more dimension. And then to seal everything in, I'm using a matte Mod Podge, and I'm stippling it on to give it more texture. 